guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Jimmy Johnson's 2020 Ally Chevrolet Camaro. Okay guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Jimmy Johnson's Ally Chevrolet Camaro. And I really do like this paint scheme. Like, I genuinely enjoy this paint scheme. And so we're going to be taking a look at every single Hendrick Driver's main paint scheme for this year. We started out with Chase Elliott last episode of ZNC Reviews. And in this episode of ZNC Reviews, we're going to be taking a look at Jimmy Johnson's Ally car. And the reason we're doing all the Hendrick Drivers is because Chase Elliott won the championship and Jimmy Johnson had his amazing send-off with his last chance at winning a race that he did not... Um, Fortunately, unfortunately, did not win that race. But, huh. So, I genuinely like this paint scheme. I mean, the ally back here is a little bit messed up. I thought we could pair it to his last year's ally car. Because they're pretty similar, but they're, they're all so different. So, if we take a look at these die casts. You can see that the A in the back is bigger, and it is white on this one, and it doesn't have that thing around it. I don't know what to call that. And this year, we also do, again, have the flattened front nose that I mentioned in the episode of Chase Elliott. Um, so, if you haven't watched that episode, I highly recommend you go check it out, because I went more in-depth to what I'm talking about here in that episode. Um, so a difference is this just says JJ for his, um, name, and this says Jimmy Johnson. And so that's a cool difference. I like the look of where it just says JJ. I think that looks really nice. And I also think, I honestly like where it has his Twitter and stuff there. They should have kept that. They didn't. You can see the incorrect taillights for this one. Well, let me bring in a 2018 car here. The only 2018 Chevrolet I have sitting here is Alex Bowman. And you can see taillights match. These taillights were only ran in 2018, not 2019. These ones ran in 2019. So I don't know why they messed up on that. It was an easy fix. Um, but they probably made the prototype for the die cast before the official taillights were announced. So, that's a little bit sad. Another difference I want to point out is the pinstripes going up the, going up the car here. They kind of continue with each other like these. This starts the pinstripes, and they continue. And then with the two L's there, the two L's there, and the two L's there. They did not do that, do that this year. They did not continue with the pinstripe that was unfortunate but I honestly really love this die cast I colored in my um window net I just think it looks better I like the black window nets better um so let's take a look at some of the details on the car whoa he went out of frame there so here we have NASCAR race car that's also there with a little bit of a blemish there and then 3M, and I can't read that. Those are not present here. 3M has been moved down here with Sunoco, and Moog and the other logo were taken away. Valvoline is still present. All the logos that were here are still present. The Ally is obviously still present, because this was the first year he ran Ally, and I think they refined the paint scheme with this year's car. Um, I'm not sure. They haven't announced Alex Bowman's paint scheme. I'm assuming it's going to be the same. They might change it, though. You can see Microsoft there. No Microsoft there. You know, I don't really play Minecraft much, but knowing that Microsoft owns Minecraft and they're a Hendrick sponsor, give Jimmy Johnson, um, I mean, well, Alex Bowman now, a Minecraft paint scheme. That would, that would be cool. I don't know. I just think it'd be fun. And a nice die cast to have in my collection, especially in 124. Um, so here we have Valvoline, Valvoline Ally, do it right. 
and then just the normal Ally Financial logo here, and then or right here it says Ally Do It Right. That is only present on the back here with Ally Do It Right, and Do It Right is written in pink with, as last year's edition, written in neon. Now, when Jimmy Johnson ran these primarily black cars, he hasn't been doing so hot. I mean, he got a few top tens when he's been running these primarily black cars, but not a win. I think the last time he got a win in a black car was when he ran his Cobalt cars back in the day for Lowe's. Which is unfortunate, because these paint schemes look nice, and I would have liked to have a race version of this one, especially. And so, yeah. And we have the Chevrolet logo that is black there, also black here. And another thing I spoke about in the Chase Elliott video, a little indentation here. You see, I tried to run my fingers. You see it gets stuck in there. With this one, it's pretty flat. Like, my finger doesn't get stuck, but as with this one, it, like, yeah. Because that's because they did change the molds. Molds. And, um, you know, I think... I mean, I don't think it would have mattered to a lot of people if they would have used these molds again for 2020. Like, it wouldn't have mattered so much to me, but, you know, I just think the new molds look a lot better, for starters. And, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. And catch me again in the next episode of ZNC Reviews.